What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a dang shame. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I got that recording. When was this? Oh, this softball. Okay, I know I done had the video on. I didn't say nothing to y'all. My bad, y'all. I'm trying to find this thing I was looking for. Now, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! When you're feeling strange in the neighborhood, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Ow! Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> Man, I am a huge Ghostbusters fan. Y'all can roast me, I don't care. <laughs> that was my joy back in the day. <laughs> and I was glad they paid homage by playing the song. Now, that's the only thing that was good about the whole goddamn movie. Look. The movie had a good plot. Not a great one, but a good plot. And what they were doing. These guys tried to make it. They tried to make this crap into a love story between a girl and a ghost girl. A girl that's a ghost. A, a girl that's a Casper, whatever. Whatever it is. They tried to turn it into this when everything was fine with the story and how the story was going. The story was going perfect. It was fine. Um, how they were unraveling the mystery, how the ghost was using all these other ghosts to get them open. And, and you had them building around this girl first of all they had the girl dressed up like a boy my up uh, my youngest niece thought it was a boy she was like that's a girl and my oldest niece and me were like yeah that's a girl you can't tell like she like thought it was a boy <laughs> so that's when i knew yeah this movie finna go down here <laughs> and then the movie was not funny. Like, like it has some jokes for me. I understood. But the whole theater, there was no laughter. There was no engagement. It was, it was kind of a bad movie. Um, Paul Rudd, um, he was okay, but. Bill Murray really stole the show when he got in there. He stole the whole show. Him and I'm um, Ray, him and I'm um, Dan Aykroyd, they, them and Ernie Hudson, they stole the show. Excuse me. Excuse me. They, 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 they stole the show. 
And it just goes to show you that no matter how old that the Ghostbusters get, you know, you still can use them. They didn't even really utilize them. My oldest niece, I wish she was here. I would have did this live with her. But she really don't like being on camera. But I could have did the live. She would have told you guys everything, how she felt about it. And this supposed to be a kid's movie. She didn't like the fact that they didn't, that for some reason, she was trying to figure out, she was like, why didn't they use the old Ghostbusters that much? Like, why did they just make them side characters? Like, why would they do that? And I told her, that's a great question. I don't know why they did it. To me, why would you introduce... Why would you... And that's my thing. Why would you put these characters in there and not utilize them at all? It was a travesty. And my niece, she was right. <laughs> you know, and she was right. You know, and... And that's the thing about it. Now see. Now see, I like this. I like the cover for it. This is a beautiful cover. You got the old school then the new, I love the new car. The new car design, everything was perfect. And then you got the new school. <laughs> but you see how they got the black girl way in the back? That's by design. Ernie Hudson, they got him in the back. They like, yeah, you in the back. Made their picture bigger. Put her way in the back. Her character, I loved her character, but... They didn't give her enough development. They didn't do enough anything with her. They were focused on this woman trying to look like a man all the movie with this damn spirit. <laughs> she was she was on there falling in love with a goddamn ghost. I'm sorry if I spoiled this for you, but I don't care. I'm I'm pissed off. And like that, like 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 the tomato gave it a 42%. 85 people 85 percent say they enjoyed it hell no i hated this movie <laughs> this movie was terrible um the storyline was great i give the storyline they had a three or a three and a half out of four stars but as far as the delivery the the directing and the direction of the film that's like a half star to me so i would probably give it a two two star out of four or or one and a half star out of four um and then the bad guy was it was like it was stupid see i hate movies like this when you um try to when you try to do a misdirection when you try to do a misdirection And you try to make it like, oh, well, you know, we're going to go with this, this, this girl tricks this girl into that. And then I thought they was going to have these two girls kiss because the way it's set up at the end of the whole thing, it looked like they was going to kiss. It looked like they was going to kiss. And I was going to be real pissed off. Yeah, that's her name. Celeste O'Connor. Lucky. This girl is fine. 
To be a young girl, she fine. Let me see. She fine, fine. Let's see the cast. Now, they brought back um, Janine. <laughs> Janine was there, which I love to see her. She finally put on the Ghostbusters suit. That was clean. I like the black Ghostbusters. I want to see if I could find that. The black Ghostbusters suits and rock that shit, dog, one day. Them suits they had on the black ones. The black ones were so dope. <laughs> they were dope as hell. Like her character, her character was so underutilized. In the first one in Afterlife, she was in it. She was doing her thing. And then all of a sudden, it's like they just barely used her. They didn't even use her at all. They didn't use her at all in this, man. And it, it was downright, it was stupid. You know, it kind of pissed a lot of us off. Me and my me and my nieces were very upset. Like they tried to make the story hurt. That's all they were trying to do. And they were trying to push an agenda, which I keep trying to tell people they've got to stop with this agenda based bullshit. Nobody wants to see two girls or two men getting it on. We don't need to see that. We got children coming to watch that movie. And I felt real disrespected by having that in there. I didn't like that. I got two young children with me. You know, and I don't want to see that. And then the girl, like if you see her, she's not even dressed like a dude or nothing. She's not dressed like a man or nothing. She dresses like a female. And this is the and this is the thing I be trying to tell everybody. Then of course you had Slimer in there, Slimer and the one dude. This is the dude that this is what I didn't like. This is what I didn't like at all and everything, man. See, I didn't like this part here. Like, they didn't utilize him. He was so big in the first one. They just made him, his character should have been back here with her. Because both of them, I'm thinking that, okay, they finna, they, you know, they're dating now. Because now she's in the city. They were falling for each other. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, we're just going to play the friend role. I'll be like a brother to you or she'll be a sister. No, <laughs> there they were underutilized. These two as parents are trash. She sucks and he sucks as a parent. I don't care if you the step daddy. She need to set that right. She need to let her know, mother Effa, this is your dad now. Okay. Show him respect. See, all she needed was a good ass spanking because all she was doing <laughs> was just doing dumps. She was just being reckless. They see they got from Ghostbusters. The guy Peck Peck. I don't even know why they brought his character back. I hated him in the first movie. Because he over there hating on the Ghostbusters. But dog, why are you hating on the Ghostbusters? They're saving your damn city. But no, he wants to find a way to get these guys locked up. Which was the dumbest thing I ever heard of or ever felt or seen or thought of. It, it's like, bro, what are you doing? Why? Why are you doing this, Peck? His name is Peck and should have been Peter Whacker because he was walking around like that. A straight Petey Whacker. You know, the, the first one, Afterlife, was better. But Afterlife suffered as well down the stretch. This movie was not good. Um, if you're, a, if the, I don't know why the fans made it high. It was not good. Um, Bill Murray stole the show. Him and Dan Aykroyd saved the movie.
<laughs> they saved the movie like they were they were the best thing in it. Then they had this Indian guy who turned out to be a firebender. Now you got an avatar nigga in here. <laughs> they got the avatar in here. They got a nigga like Aang in there. I could bend fire. I am the fire. But like, what is you doing? <laughs> what they should have done was made the prophecy fit the Ghostbusters. Get him out. Then. They should have took away the focus with the girl and the other girl basically being lovers. They were trying to go with that trope that they were lovers. Trying to make them connect on that level. A, 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 um, a, um, a, a, uh, I can't think of that word. They, they trying to make them connect on a, um, relationship wise level. That's what they were trying to do. And it was just downright goddamn sickening. It was sickening. It was terrible. The shit was, was, it was stupid. It was retarded. It's like, couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it at all. It was a trip. But people are lied to you. Um, other than that, man, the movie was, uh, I give it a two out of four. No, excuse me. I give it a one and a half star out of four, dog. It wasn't that good. Like, wasn't even funny. Guys was like joking and stuff. It wasn't even, wasn't even funny. It was it was straight terrible. It was terrible. So you know it's crazy. Oh yeah, shout out to Nas for dropping dropping a video for his song. I love this feeling. Goes hard. So that's that's dope. You know, but it was crazy. It was crazy as hell. Hold on. So that's the thing. I was disappointed because they took the love out of it. The mystery of trying to figure out about the ghost. And it's great they had a different character as the ghost. But they underutilized the ghost. Like, there was no point you felt in this film anybody was in danger. Even when the ghost chick double crossed the manly looking chick. <laughs> it's like, what are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? It's like... You know, it's like everybody is, is, you know, it's, it's just crazy to me. It's just crazy to me how people look at things or, or when you see what's going on and everything with it and the direction, the production, the, pr the production and the looks was clean. But the thing that was trash was like, what are we doing? So it's just, it's just stupidity, man. I, I felt it could have been better. I like the gadgets, the proton packs, the ones that the, the black girl she had on the all black, 
Ghostbusters um um ones the onesie the all black onesie man that if I could find that I'm finna buy that and rock that shit boy that shit was dope I'm telling you the the outfits they were they were on point but I just felt like they underutilized then at the end they got all these people from nowhere like how the hell all these people just gonna come up and just be like yeah saved by the ghostbusters and all, all this stuff and then they had peck getting embarrassed at the end like he should he should have been embarrassed you know because <laughs> he should have been embarrassed And he should have because he did this in the first Ghostbusters. It's like, dog, you haven't learned your lesson. Like, when are you going to learn? Now they made him the mayor. How the hell did he become the mayor? <laughs> I'm like, he almost, he shouldn't even have a job because this dumbass almost cost everybody their life because he wanted to lock the Ghostbusters up. Ghost was about to take over the whole world. <laughs> and this idiot here still blaming on um, the Ghostbusters because he wants to get all the shine. It's ridiculous. It's like the most dumbest thing I've ever seen and heard and watched. You know, it's it's stupid. stupid man it's it just gets it gets on my nerves man like we have such a good premise the film everything how they set it up was great and then they dropped the ball because you're trying to focus on a girl who is just turned 15 you got her dressing like a boy then all of a sudden she's falling in love with a girl ghost where does that make any sense <laughs> Just stupidity, dog. This is the this is the stuff I talk about. This agenda shit. It's all it is is agenda. It was the same thing in Ahsoka. Ahsoka was straight, and then they trying to go with this Sabine character from nobody liked her in the cartoon, and now you trying to make her the apprentice and having these force abilities. Why? Because she's a girl. Then you got the Ezra and you just shitted on Ezra character. You made Ezra look like he was weak. It's like, what are we doing? If Ezra was somewhere for a long time by himself, wouldn't that make him stronger? <laughs> but yeah, man, this movie was trash, dog. One and a half stars out of four. If you go see it and everything, man, like you can see it. I would, I would go see it. You know, don't not go see it. Just go check it out. Maybe the next one, maybe the trilogy, the last one will be better. But this one, nah, it's not it. They have yet to make a new Ghostbusters that's good. The first one was good. They didn't land the plane. This one, it was okay. And it just had a bumpy ride throughout the whole movie. So that's my review on Ghostbuster Frozen Empire. So I will put in the thing, spoiler, spoiler, whatever, <laughs> so you guys don't get confused. I'm out. Deezy.